Hey, it's Benny. We're talking about Roll and Write Revolutions Right on Track. This is a game that I designed to be played by 1 to 100 players in 15 to 60 minutes. If you're playing solo, you can probably play it closer in 15 minutes. We're playing with a lot of players, probably closer to 60 minutes. You can play with actually as many players as you can find that all want to play at the same time. You can use a projector, you can use a webcam, all those kind of things. Um, and really play with a whole bunch of people. So, pretty cool game that way. Alright, so this game, go ahead and take a look here at our player sheet. Kind of talk about some of the elements happening here. So you have two dice. That's going to affect all the players. This is kind of a, we consider this kind of a sandboxy game. Where you have a lot of options to score points. Your goal is to score 25 of these stars, as you can see up here. So what you're doing is you're going to roll the dice. And each die is going to give you one action. So the dice correspond sometimes to areas. Sometimes they don't need to correspond to areas. So let's talk about that real quick. You've got four possible actions. You can fill in um, population. So if I rolled five and one, I could fill in five in a population, or I could fill in one. So I would choose an area. And these don't have to correspond to the dice for population. So let's let's go ahead and do that. We'll take the action for population. And so with this game, you'll see that each area has a uh, good, a regular good, and a, um, a specialty good. And the specialty goods are specific to one of those regions within that area, right? Or one of those areas in that region. So over here, in, you know, in the, the northeast area, we've got... They can do chemicals, and they can also do steel uh, over here. In the Pacific Northwest, they've got lumber, and they've also got apples. So let's go ahead and fill in five on our population. It doesn't matter which track you start to fill in. And if you have any spillover, so if I had, say, eight total, then I would fill in into the next area, right? But so as I fill in a population track, so when I get this population track full, I'll be able to export or uh, export goods from this location to another location and if that location also has a filled population track they can import my good so that's a useful thing so we'll talk about blocking actions here in a minute our other possible actions are to draw a track and so this you're using actually the dice for the region so if i wanted to draw a track i would have to start on the outer edges okay if i haven't started a track already so i can do a track from one so within the cities, I could draw a track between these two cities, or I could draw a track out of the region, so from here to here. Or I could draw diagonally from here to here, okay? So you can travel ortho orthogonally with your tracks, up and down, left and right. You can also go diagonal, okay? So that's another possible action. Another possible action is to fill in influence in a region, right? And so that's these little trains. So as you fill in trains, you're gonna get bonuses. So every second, well, from the second and then on, you're going to get bonuses. So if you fill the whole thing, you get a star. Remember, stars are our goal. And up here, too, so we'll talk about our regions real quick, since we're already there. Uh, as you fill in this one, this one will give you a complete population track in one city of your choice. Okay. This one gets you a star. Pretty cool. This gets you a track. So like we talked about, doing a track like that, diagonal, orthogonal. And it has to be from region one to a different region or within region one itself. Again, population track, star, population track, star. So if you fill the population track, you can get three stars. The goal of the game is to get 25 stars first, because that triggers the end of the game, and everybody else gets a turn. You can also score stars at the end of the game for some bonus points. So every time you ship a B good to another city from the Pacific Northwest, you're going to mark a star. Right? And you can ship two five other regions because there are six regions total on our map right as you can see our last action here is to fill in our changing station right and our um our, our station over here is meant to give you flexibility with your dice rolls so if i wanted to take this one i could plug it into any of these other slots i wouldn't want to swap a one for a one that doesn't make sense but i could put it down here on three so next time I roll the three, I chain it to a one. Kind of a handy thing. So the way that works is we're going to cover up. That's what our railroad crossing is here. You actually, every time you use, you, 
you do actions, you're going to cover up one of the actions you used. If you do two of the same action, then you're going to cover that action, right? So I did population. I still have to do an action here over here for number one. So let's do, um, we're going to do a train track. We're going to take our be good down here. This is the apple. And we're going to actually ship it over here. Over there into the southwest. So we've connected these two cities, okay? I hope you guys can see that pretty well. I'm trying to use a bright color. So now I need to either block population or I need to block tracks. So let's go ahead and block population. All right. And so let me keep on going with the game. Roll some more dice here. So one and three. So now this turn, I can't take population. So everybody's going to do this themselves while they're playing. Right now, I don't have any opponents that are playing against me. So I can do one or three. So now I, I'm limited to tracks, influence, and our, um, our switching station, the ones that changes out dice. So I've got a pretty good roll over here with this one. Let's go ahead and add one, two. And so this is where you guys get that spillover I talked about, right? So in other games where they would stop you at, you know, you'd have to have the exact amount or something like that. This game's a little bit more, uh, a little bit more forgiving with those kind of things. So we've done that. Oh wait, I can't do that. Ah, oh, never mind. I didn't do that. <laughs> Let's do a different action. See, I knew I was doing something wrong. This is what happens in this game. You do things wrong. All right, so let's take tracks. I can do a track from three. Let's do a three. We'll do this track right here because I'm working on filling this population so I can move this good um, out to the interior. So we'll do tracks and uh, the number one again. You can't ship um, specialty goods within the same region, by the way. Like So lumber and, and apples can't ship within their own region. They have to export out to other regions. So let's do, uh, so there's our, our three. Let's do our one as, we'll fill in one over here. Okay, so we'll do this, move this over here. There we go. Now, not choosing one, so oh, a lot of ones today. All right, so now I can't take that, but I can do population. So I can do population. So there's my one, two, three, and my four four that I was trying to cheat with earlier. And then oh, I just got another one. All right, so let's do another influence. So one's going to actually let me fill a population ring. So we're actually going to go ahead and do that over here. I'm going to fill in this outer population ring. So that's pretty cool. So now I've shipped. So these two are now connected. So now you have a choice to ship the chemicals to this region. I think that's a pretty good idea because I need that star. So there's my three B, mark my star for shipping a good. So now I have one star towards my end goal. So as you can see, the game kind of rolls along like that. The area I want to talk about real quick, though, while we get going with this game, is this area over here. Okay, So this area is strictly for campaign use. Okay, So we have cards. Ta -da. Like that. There are nine of them, right? So they all print on one sheet. And each one gives you a different goal, right? And so you add in your, these neat numbers, add in your number. So let's say I use this one for my campaign, right? So every time I have a full, all my cities are full in region one, three, or five, I can score one star, all right? This is full population. So having every population, every city of my population in that region is full, I'm going to score a star. I can score up to. Um, well, three with that one, because there's three, three stars, right? So that's pretty cool. So every, no, what is it? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Um, this one here, you want um, all four cities connected within uh, either region three or region four. Region two or five, one or six. And those are each going to give you stars as well. So pretty cool thing. Um, the other thing with, with campaigns, so... When you're playing against opponents, um, you're looking for who won the last game, right? And so, or whoever, yeah, who won the last game gets a bonus, right? Whoever second and, and et cetera gets another bonus as well. So the winner of the last game gets uh, to fill in one, one marker up here. 
um, for any any space, any um, any region they want. Um, the person that lost gets to fill in one space on a population track, and that's any population track they want, right? And so um, also at the beginning of the game, this would be very helpful, um, you get to fill in... Uh, You have to fill in uh, an influence um, based on your die roll as well. Okay. Anyway, so this is right on track. This is a game that plays over, you know, several turns. You're looking to earn 25 stars. Uh, the game uh, plays along pretty quick once you get kind of rolling with it. And then, um, you know, then you'll feel right. And uh, it's uh, it's actually a really fun game. I really quite enjoyed it. Um, it's one I've been working on for quite a while. Um, so I'm excited to get it out to you guys. Um, looking forward to hearing your thoughts, hearing your comments. Um, we're going to try to do something different um, going forward. We'll talk about that later. Um, so this is a game. I guess it plays 100 up to, you know, as many players as you can find. Play solo. Um, when you're playing a campaign game, especially solo, the goal is to try to get 300 stars, right? And so 25 on the sheet, but... You also get some bonus stars at the end for connecting cities, for shipping goods. So there's different things in the rulebook. You guys want to take a look at that. So it is possible to get 30 points a game. And so in playing solo, if you can get your 30 points a game, you get the gold trophy for the next game when you play a campaign. If you don't get your 30, if you get like 29, eek, you get uh, the, the second place trophy. And then you're going to use, use that for the following game, right? And so then, you know, it continues on, right? You have... Like this one is full influence in each of these regions. Four, five, and six can get you another three points, right? So that's a pretty cool thing. So anyway, um, looking forward to hearing what you guys think about uh, right on track. Looking forward to seeing y'all in the comments. Looking forward to seeing you um, on Kickstarter when this does launch. Um, we're looking forward to um, you know having a lot of a lot of fun with this game. This is a really neat game. I hope you guys really check it out and um, embrace our kind of sandboxy. Uh, kind of railroad uh, game here. So looking forward to that. Uh, Y'all have a great day. Make sure to keep on rolling and writing. <laughs>